Oh my god. That's a big one. Oh, yeah. Oh, far out. G'day everybody and welcome to another Full Scale Fishing Adventures episode. Exciting day today, um, we're exploring a new river within the Murray-Darling Basin, which I haven't fished before, and that is the Broken River. Um, James from Ballistas uh, kindly offered to do a pick up and drop off, so I've started at the top, um, dropped the kayak in, and then I'm not quite sure where I'm going. Never fished this section before, as I said. Um, Jimmy's assured me that he'll be at the end to pick me up and bring me back up to my car. So exciting day, exploring some new water, seeing some new things and how cool, like I've done a lot of fishing in the Murray-Darling Basin, but there's still so much to explore. And you know, this river is a, a big river and I'm only doing a section. So there's just so much to do in this system. It's awesome. So hopefully we can catch a few cod. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Exciting day ahead. all these smaller rivers you got run and then pull so it's quite obvious where you're going to be fishing um, I've got a couple of options rigged but I'm definitely going to start with surface so I've got the medium heavy Komodo set up so 273 reel 6 foot 6 rod it's got 30 pound platypus x4 braid um, which I've been using a bit for cod fishing because it's a really good hard wearing braid. Um, I've got a 60 pound hard armor tough leader platypus stuff. Um, and then I've gone with the ballista hunchback in gold lessent. I think that's how you pronounce it. So yeah, we'll start with surface and we'll go from there. It looks beautiful. Probably bits that I'm going to stuff up because I don't know the water. It's funny how you'd think you'd catch more cod uh, like doing new water all the time, but I reckon you catch more when you do the same water all the time because you skip all the, the average stuff and you can just go from prime snag to prime snag. Um, so exploring is really good. I love it, but something to be said about getting to know a bit of water as well. Lots of nice looking logs.
Well, it must get fished a bit because that's the second lure I've found. Stumpy. And chartreuse must be the guy. <laughs> Might just be a lure collecting day. It's like, which side do you take here? Because it both looks really good, but I think I'll take the sponge pile. I'll try and put a couple of casts in here on the way through. Come on, looks too good. Be good to get my first bite just to get the confidence happening. What a cool system. Awesome. So different to everywhere else I've fished. Got him! Oh, he came off! Oh, that was such a good bite! How was the sound of it? Tangled my lure around. Oh, that was an epic bite. The twitch. Love the twitch. Surely he's going to come back. Wow, that was a good bite. Damn, that was such a good fight. Love that sound. Amazing.
It's like I give you one shot, and that's it. Oh, it's good for a confidence booster, that's for sure. Not that I didn't think it was going to happen, but it's always just nice fishing a new spot and then getting a bite, knowing that you're doing the right things. Makes you wonder where they go. They're probably, he's probably just sitting there looking at it. I put a few casts with a dino through there, but he didn't seem to want that either. Plenty of depth for a cod though. A lot of goes, ooh. A lot goes into positioning for your snag because the river's so narrow. You've got to set yourself up. Get on the right side. Foam pile there. Aryan fishing as many different waters as you can is so important for your fishing because it just keeps you thinking. It's easy to go to all the regular spots and know exactly where you're going to cast. And Whereas with this, you need to work it out. And that's good, it just keeps you thinking, keeps your mind fresh. really like to just stick one on surface and then after that I could move down I'm gonna to move to a dino and go down deeper but I definitely want to get one on surface first So cool, not knowing 
what's around the bend. It looks like a massive scum file. So that's exciting. So it's a really big scum file. I know one of these scum files is going to have another angry one on it. Good looking beard. next to the kayak. <laughs> Come on, eat it again. Cheeky, cheeky, cheeky. Just trying to be as quiet as I possibly can. Come on, eat the dino. Little one again, Mr. <sighs> Beautiful scunge pile. It's no hiding. There's a scunge pile. You're most guaranteed. There's going to be one there.
Oh, got him. Uh, that was epic. Oh, I think she got now on this log because I wasn't going to get over the top of it without making heaps of noise. That was so cool. What a bite. Feels like a nice fish too. Oh, that's a really nice fish. That is awesome. My first broken river cod. Beautiful. And here he is. My first broken river cod. And on the top wall lure. So much fun exploring new areas. And you get to catch amazing native fish like this. That is awesome, stoked. Gotta have those fine gauge hooks. Get them to stick. That was so good. Fair bit of getting in and out. Just gotta keep putting you lure in the right spots and something eventually happens. I definitely prefer to fish surface the whole time just because there's so many snags. And that there's a bit of breeze blowing now and I'm hoping that's gonna blow some cloud in. There's a little bit forming. Sort of giving everything a couple of casts, but focusing on these sponge piles. Seems to be where they like to sit. It's good a sponge pile, you can either fish it with a twitch um, or just your standard retrieve. Oh, I just missed the bite, missed the bite. But this fish boiled up in front of that log and I chucked the surface lure in and he just smashed it. <laughs> that was crazy, crazy. Just a big swirl on top of the snag there. And he just smashed, smashed the hunchback. Oh yeah, yeah. How awesome is that? I'm just amazed. Every river system I've fished since the flood, the fish are fat and fin perfect. All right, buddy. 
He's gone. That was sick. Just to see him boil up and then put the lure in there and he just demolished it. time of the day I've been doing it a little bit anyway but I'm gonna cast at anything that's in the sun with the dino and then all these little shady pockets I'm gonna cast with the hunchback it's an awesome bit around the corner here it's the first bit of rock that I've seen there's a rock bar there's a heap of timber there too it looks very good It's incredible to think that back in the day with paddle steamers they'd come and they'd blow all these rock bars up with dynamite so they could get their uh, paddle steamers through and like particularly the Murray from Yarrawonga to Meldura they blew up heaps of rock bars like could you believe it What an adventure. This is awesome. Absolutely no idea what's coming up. Awesome channels through the bamboo grass. Give us one nice one and I'll be happy. Oh my god, that's a big one. Oh, yeah. Oh, far out. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. 
That was an amazing bite. And it's like lunchtime. <laughs> Who says you can't catch them on the surface during the day? Whoa, that was so cool. Oh. <laughs> Ah, oh, that was awesome. I'd actually I've been going through a little bit of doubting because the sun's right up and it's been a little while since I had a bite. Oh, he hasn't given up yet. But I just kept telling myself, just keep putting it in the right spots. Oh, that's a really nice one. And I reckon with surface too, you find the right big one and he'll be angry for it, that's for sure. Oh, I'm just going to hop out. Yeah. Oh, here he comes. There he is. That is a sensational fish. Oh, set him down, buddy. Whoa. Oh, come around here. He's using the shade of the kayak out of that pocket like whoa he wants to go home and he hasn't given up just try and get a glove on as quickly quick as I can yeah oh he is just tearing around Come on, that is just a beautiful fish. Wow, he's fighting good. Come here. That is a tank. Oh. Well, there could be no truer words than you just keep putting it in the right spots and something will eventually happen. What a magnificent creature. That was awesome. I'm so stoked. Check him out. Beautiful fish. Alright, let's get him back. Right in the top of the head. Amazing fish. That is just an amazing fish. Oh, he's ready. Beautiful. Straight back into his snag. Oh, that was... That's my trip made <laughs> just for that one bite that was cool logs in this river there is no doubt about that I reckon for every one fish you cover there's probably about 10 that you don't I just love how they come out and blitz it. And that was at like quarter to one. So it just means that I can probably never take a surface lure off. 
when I'm cod fishing. I'm that addicted to it. Just to know, you know, the opportunity of getting a good one on top water can happen anytime. Anytime. about finding that right fish. Oh my god, that was a glide into the most beautiful shady snag like look at that thing you carp in the shallows that just screams top water bite Right in the pocket. Just got to find the shade. He's right in the back there. Ooh, got it in there again. Come on, buddy, come back. Or they're just sitting in the shade, uh, shadows.
got him. Get out of there. Sick. I pulled myself up and I've just been peppering all these spots because of this particular bit here is all shady. And one of the pockets have a really nice fish in it. Oh, yeah. It's like 1.30 in the afternoon. Or well, it might be two o'clock, who knows? But they're still eating top water, so <laughs> it's just so good. Hey buddy. What how beautiful are you? Come here. Got him. Chunky, chunky top water fish. Now it's the warm part of the day, so it's gonna be as quick as I can with this fish. On the riverbank, he's looking right at me. <laughs> that was cool. Nice looking fox. Actually, quite a cool looking animal when their tail isn't totally destroyed with mange. What an adventure. I'm like three quarters of the way through. It's been awesome. Lots of tree crossings, lots of tight water, but a few buffs in between makes it all worthwhile.
That's a pretty gnarly section. Oh, little guy there. Anywhere there's shade and a bit of a sconge, they're pretty happy. Oh, I got him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought I'd lost him there. That was just first cast in there. It just landed, went twitch, and it went kabooshka. <laughs> and we are talking 2.30 in the afternoon. Still got me top water on. Oh, that's a beautiful fish. Check him out. There he is. It's like middle of the afternoon and it just landed and twitched it and he demolished it. That is awesome. Right in the top of the lip. <sighs> that was cool. Oh my god, that's a big one. That's a big one. That was awesome. Oh. Not quite as big as I thought, but the bite, the bite was amazing. Whoa. You right there, fish. <laughs> Oh, that was insane. Wow. Wow. Oh, what? We haven't got a storm coming, but that cloud has come over and the fish are just going ballistic for top water. That is awesome. So many bites. Unreal. And they're so active because that lure just landed and he was straight onto it. Yeah, I just want to take the lure out, thank you. Got him. He's gone. He was not hanging around for a second longer. Wow. I thought it was either going to be this one or that one but seeing as though we caught a fish off of that one let's cast this one which I think is the better of the two but He's obviously pretty happy to be on that one. It is so obvious in these smaller rivers where you need to be casting your surface lure.
You just gotta find the right fish. You find the right fish and you chuck your lure in there, you just watch out. Because it's gonna have it. <laughs> Just another log jam right across the river and I thought well why not cast it for a disturbance because that is the old time scum pile. I reckon if there is a metery in this river that would be sitting right under there. God damn, it didn't even, as soon as it landed, like as soon as it landed. That's crazy, the, this bit of cloud has come over and the fish are just going off. What? <sighs> Obviously thought I needed a shower. Oh, he's going around a stick. There he comes. Sick. That's another chunky one. That was amazing. It literally, literally hit the water and this guy's come up and just blitzed it. That's another really nice one. It's like <laughs> that fish had never seen a top water before. And as soon as that paddler landed, it was, it was in trouble. It was trouble for that paddler. That's amazing. Put the hook out of here and you can go. What another bite. Another bite. It's the middle of the afternoon, mind you. Oh, hopefully, I didn't make too much noise from it. Got him. <laughs> Oh, he must have just been looking at that and thought, as soon as that moves, I am killing it. What? That's incredible, incredible fishing. 
Yeah, yeah. Ow. Hey, they're so angry. They're really razzed up. The weather or something's just got them cranking. That's unreal. Unbelievable. My thumb is so shredded. <laughs> the biggest divot. Wow, 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 wow. Incredible fishing. It would not surprise me one little bit if another one just dushed it off of that. Oh, there's a boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, I came off. Very next cast. Very next cast. What? They are angry. Not many times in cod fishing do you get to experience bites like this. It's, it's the middle of the day. What? And they're just smashing top waters. That's ridiculous. Will he come back? Come on. He's got a really nice house, that one. The twitch is so important in small waters. It really is. Unreal. It's good sometimes to do just the twitch and then do the normal paddle. And either of the two is going to make him angry. Wow. It's times like this makes you just want to burn to every good pile, which I'm going to do. But I'm going to try my best <laughs> between log jams. I've got another one I've got to try and navigate through here. It's another really nice pocket in there. Oh, there's one underneath it. I missed it. Are you kidding? Are you kidding me? Three fish off this same bit, all one after the other. Come on. Oh, I hit it again. <laughs> that one's angry in there. That's unbelievable. Surely he's going to have it. He's so angry. Boiled at it. He's following it. They're so fired up. Could be a storm building. There's something going on. Come on, buddy. Eat it. He really wants to. He's just not quite sure. That's crazy.
This is the thing that I find so, I'm going to say frustrating <laughs> about cods in general is that I know they're on most logs. And when you get times like this where every log fires, you know they're there. And sometimes they just don't want to eat. That's just how they are. But you get them when they're angry and they'll just come up and smash the top water. They've just got so much food in the river. They can be so selective and they don't need to eat all the time. Well, it must have just been the most insane bite window. Sort of gone a little bit quiet, but who cares? <laughs> what an amazing drift. Oh! Got him! How was that? It didn't even land. Well, it obviously landed, but as soon as it landed, it must have dropped it on top of his head. Wow. Ah, so many surface bites. And here's me just saying that the bite slowed down a little bit. Hey, 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 hey. hey. Oh, he's gone. Whew, quick release. That is so good. Wow. there was going to be one on that. Just red letter snag. Oh, I got him. Wow. In the full sun. In the full sun. And he has demolished that. Pretty fish. Look at him. A very pretty fish. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Just let me get a lip on you, buddy. Got him. Check that out. Seriously cool. They're eating it so well. It's just one of those days where things are happening. It's just Amazing. It's another nice looking spot in there too. There must be insane amounts of food in the river at the moment it's been crazy when i get out um you only have to have your feet in the water for a few seconds and the shrimp start biting your feet there must be so many of those guys
can we make it through? We're not going to make it under that. Oh, dang. Jeez. Sucked in there, that'd be bad. Burning through the last bit of water. Jimmy's picking me up at five, which is in about 15 minutes' time. And I've got a little bit of a paddle to go. Not eights, but just a little bit. But it's hard not to keep casting. Have a go at this. Try and navigate my way through all of this. Oh, that was loose. <laughs> that was a lot more pleasant than what I was expecting. We have entered the point of no return. I can't get through that bit, so I've emptied all the stuff out the kayak. And now I've got to pull it up this bank to get around all that terrible stuff. I don't reckon you'd be doing this in a boat somewhere. What an amazing adventure that has been. It has just been, there's great fishing, it's been amazing scenery, and it's super cool to come and explore something new within the Murray-Darling Basin, which I haven't done before. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. If you do, give us a like, leave a comment, and if you subscribe to the channel, it helps the channel grow. I'll catch you all next time.